If you're hurtling along the road towards a stationary car, it's a pretty good idea to hit the brakes. But in this car, you don't have to. The car is fitted with a prototype safety system developed by Nissan that helps avoid rear-end collisions. Fitted behind the bumper of this Nissan Infiniti is a radar unit. It scans the road ahead for slower moving or stopped vehicles and judges when the car needs to begin slowing down. At that time it sounds an alarm, gently pushes up the accelerator pedal and partially applies the brakes. If the driver doesn't act and a collision becomes more lightly, it automatically applies harder braking and tightens the driver's seatbelt. Similar systems have been demonstrated by other car makers, but Nissan says this one works at the highest speed yet, up to 60 km an hour. The technology should reduce both the likelihood of a rear-end collision with a car in front and getting hit by a car from behind. The gradual braking it applies in the early stages should give drivers behind enough warning to brake themselves, thus avoiding another rear-end collision. The technology is one of several developed by Nissan as part of a 20-year project that started in 1995 to cut by half the number of fatalities or serious injuries involving its vehicles. Another new system, also unveiled this week, seeks to make low-speed accidents with pedestrians and animals less likely. The Moving Object Detection System builds on the Around View Monitor that's already installed into some Nissan navigation systems. Around View Monitor feeds images from four wide-angle video cameras onto the car's navigation system to give a bird's-eye view of the vehicle. The new system monitors those video signals for signs of movement and sounds an alarm if something is detected. It's intended to supplement the driver's vision and provide additional awareness in places where visibility might be obscured, such as when backing out of a parking space. Nissan has yet to announce when both systems will appear in cars. In Yokosuka, Japan, this is Martin Williams, IDG News Service.